Attention! Although my content is usually family-friendly and suitable for all ages, Phoenix Wright Justice for All is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB content rating system, and as such, the videos in this Let's Play may contain blood, mild violence, and or suggestive themes. So, viewer discretion is advised. Will we be hearing further testimony from the prosecution? No, Your Honor! That is all! Oh crud. This witness has said that he saw the defendant commit the crime at the crime scene. While it is true that the witness was not wearing his glasses at the time, the court feels that since he was near the culprit, positive identification is possible. Which means... The guilt of the defendant, Maggie Bird, has been sufficiently substantiated. What? Nick, you have to do something before it's too late! I hereby close the cross and hold it! Wait, wait! As to the actions of Mr. Wellington during the 15 minute gap, the defense would like to propose an explanation. I thought the defense had just finished proving that this couldn't be explained! No, there is one possibility. Please go for it. Oh, just, yes. There's only one possible explanation. Alright, let's hear your explanation. However, be forewarned that if your explanation is not persuasive, you will be penalized. Think carefully before this you present, like Mr. School. Wright. You yes, Your Honor. You have persuasive essay, and they're like, oh, your argument's not good enough. D. Yeah. I probably shouldn't have said that there was only one possibility. Please present the court the one piece of evidence that will Oh, it's showing us how much we yes. will lose. That's nice. Yes. Why didn't the witness call the police right away? I really like the health bar system. That's good. Well, I was afraid it'd just be like, oh, you got penalized, half of your bar is gone. I mean, depending know. on the part of the game, sometimes it'll be like, the last piece of evidence, and they're like, Mr. Wright, you're like literally at the end of your rope. If you can't prove it, then massive penalty. Okay. Let's look. Alright. His glasses. What is about this it? like Velma? Hey! My, my glasses! glasses. <laughs> um. Okay, let's take a look at the crime scene photo, too. He was admiring the um, handwriting. No, we had to do that. Why would that take 15 minutes, though? It would take like a max oh, of five. You think that that's what it was? He was had to write the... Yeah, before the police came. But why would that take 15 minutes? <laughs> yes, he was very diligent. Perhaps this is the evidence you need to be convinced. Perhaps. <laughs> that why was that just not... an idea I thought I'd throw out. Why is that not a good idea? That was perfect. I suggest that perhaps you should find a better piece of evidence. That yes, a, of course, Your Honor. That was a great explanation. Yeah, I, I, I'm with you there. Well then, but before you do, you will be penalized. Bubble. Ouch. Oh gosh, okay. Um, so if it's not that, let's see crime scene photo one again. Maybe there's like a good reason. Okay. There's someone above. Someone with a horse up above. <laughs> that's what it looks like. I think that's literally it, it, just... It, it's just, um... You know I don't how think that's a person. I think that's literally just a bench. You know how at the beginning of, um, Oracle Seasons, there's, like, Link riding horses, like... <laughs> 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 that's one of those hatchbacks. <laughs> 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 there's the really realistic thing of him, and, like, and the horse is like... <laughs> um, anyway... Shame, uh, shame was plugged to my very first Let's Play series. Oh yeah, I forgot you actually Let's Played that. Uh, which I can't watch anymore because the sound quality is so awful. Yeah, it's bad. Okay. Which um, is nope, it's not that. Oh, maybe it's the thing that we got given. That, oh no, not the business card. The names card. list? Yeah, names list. Okay, what let's look on that? here. Oh, we can't look at it? Nope. Oh, that's stupid. Okay, uh, next. That's it. Look at profiles. Maybe there's something in the profiles. Nope. <laughs> Generic dude. God, he was... Nope. No, that wouldn't make sense either. <laughs> I love how her age is unknown because we forgot who she was. <laughs> okay, I'm ashamed to be the same age as Richard Wellington. Ah, <laughs> uh, that stupid dude. He has a... Look at him from here. He has a creepy smile. Holy cow. Yeah, he's got bad hair too. Shoot. <laughs> now, I'm, now. I'm... I'm, I'm Okay. Um, maybe he was still looking for the phone? We just said no, that, that wasn't, wasn't it. You said the glasses? I said the glasses, maybe. He was like, his glasses were smashed and he was trying to... Okay, you want to try that then? Yeah, let's, let's just do it. 
Mr. Wellington. Oh, I think that was right. What? Hey. Don't do that. You almost made me have a heart attack. These are your glasses, aren't they? Ah, where, where did you find? Gah! I believe the court all heard what you just confessed to. These the glasses are in fact yours. I'll tell you where they were found, Mr. Wellington. These glasses were found under the victim's body. But under the victim's body? Oh man, that guy's stance. <laughs> order! Order! No, no, wait a second! Hold on! Uh, I didn't confess or confirm any, anything! Your Honor, I think the answer is quite clear here. As he fell, Dustin Prince grabbed the culprit's glasses. The culprit knew that he had to find his glasses and searched frantically for them. What he didn't realize was that they were under the victim's body. So it was literally I fell my hay my glasses. <laughs> and that is why it took him 15 minutes to make that call. I still think that's ridiculous, though. <laughs> He's like, oh, well, there's murder, but my glasses, where are well, they? Because if they were found near the body, the police would connect him to the murder. Essentially. Oh, uh, well, but he probably is connected to the murder anyway. <laughs> well, oh, yeah, but that would be evidence. M Mr. Wright, are you are you indicting the witness as the real murderer? Indicting, Of yes. course! That is precisely what I am doing. <laughs> Please do not choke yourself and kill yourself. <laughs> oh, this is good music. I know I'm right. He's the real murderer. Did you figure it out, Nick? Also, this is like the corner music of the game. I figured. More or less. Turns out this cell phone was the key to this case after all. Anyway, now's our chance to deep six this guy. Deep six this guy? Oh! I'll sink him in one shot. Yeah! This is so exciting, watching you work again. Somehow, my old self is coming back to me. It's time to sink or swim. Everything rests on the edge of a knife. This is the moment I've been waiting for. It's also ironic because this is, in my opinion, one of the weakest pursuit games in the series. I like it. They're, they're all great, but this is the weak, one of the weaker ones. I like it. It's pretty good. It's new. Yeah, it, it is new. Order! Order! Your Honor! The defense! The defense is making a mockery of this court! Without any solid ground to stand on, he accuses the witness of being the murderer! You, you, yeah, th that's right! I, I'm no criminal! This, this fervent fraud of a lawyer! In that case, why don't we look at it from a different perspective? Let's hear your explanation as to why you are not the murderer! What? That's... that's easy! Um, uh... For example, there's, um, the name the victim wrote! What about that? Oh, you mean the name Maggie with an I-E? Yeah! Even an idiot like you can read that, right? But we already know an this was not like written you. by the victim himself. After all, the defendant's name is Maggie with an E-Y, and the victim was left-handed. So basically, you are saying that in order to make the defendant look guilty, the real criminal used the victim's right hand to write her name on the ground? But, 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 wouldn't that mean that the real criminal was someone the defendant knew? Otherwise, how else would he, the person know her name was Maggie I-E or Maggie E-Y? That is a good point. The witness didn't even know of Miss Bird before this trial. He was wrong! <laughs> you wrong, boys. Yup, exactly. <laughs> oh, I forgot. Hmm. Is there any way this creep could have known Maggie's name beforehand? Yes. <laughs> there was another. <laughs> no matter how I look at it, it's no good. There's no way he could have known Maggie or her name. Nick, you can't let this slime bag get away! They caught her! Y you're right. Okay, let's go over this from the beginning one more time. It would be best if I could prove that the witness had a chance to learn that the defendant's name was Maggie. Now will the witness please, the defense please present its case? How could the witness have known the defendant's name? Oh, whoops. Oh, it's the same thing, whoops. Sorry! <laughs> will the defense please present its case? How could the witness have known the defendant's name? Um, well... <laughs> What are you thinking? I mean, he... The, there's the cell phone. What about it? Maggie got a contact from its owner, but they never showed. Very good. But, uh... My business card! <laughs> <laughs> this is how! 
Am I supposed to take this as evidence that the defense doesn't know what's going on? Huh? Oh, uh... <laughs> Aren't you a little old to be laughing at a five-year-old? Take some responsibility! <laughs> at a five-year-old? <laughs> oh, at a five-year-old. Like as if I need to a lecture about responsibility from you of all people. I thought it was <laughs> at, which also works. <laughs> the defense will receive a penalty. Please think carefully before presenting your case again. I like how this case is yes, easier than the last one I did. <laughs> Almost everything is easier than Rise from the Ashes. <laughs> oh, well actually that was an easy case and then I knew I had a good idea of who it was. It was just how it but happened. But how it happened. Mr. Wellington, you didn't have your cell phone with you on the day of the murder, correct? So what if I didn't? When you realized you had lost it, what did you do? What did I do? Didn't you try to find it by calling it? Why you? How did you? Your Honor, these questions have nothing to do with- Overruled. Mr. Wright, where are you going with this line of questioning? Do you think there is some relation between this witness's cell phone and the murder? I do, Your Honor. On the day of the murder, Maggie Bird picked up a lost phone in the park. And... She also received a phone call from the owner of the phone. Um, hello? Oh, thank you. I've been searching for my phone. Is this yours? Oh, I'm glad you called. We can meet up and I can give this back. I'll be right there. Um, I'm sorry. I didn't catch your name. You can call me Maggie. I can't believe Dustin was like, uh, yo, girl, I don't think we should do this. <laughs> <laughs> that was when you learned that her name was Maggie? Uh, um, yeah. But you made one fatal mistake. Fatal mistake? My client's name is Maggie with an E-Y, but the name on the ground written was Maggie with an I-E. This is a mistake that could only occur if you kn all you knew was how her name sounded. Yeah! Oh, this might be a really short case. Uh, we still actually have a decent amount. Well, I don't think we have any testimony left, but it's a lot of this. Okay. Order, order! But, but, your honor! The witness had no motive! And your point is? It's very simple, your honor. A person usually would not kill someone without a reason. Maggie has no motive either. Yeah. Mr. Wellington had no reason to kill anyone. That is absolutely correct. I don't have a motive. Hmm. Mr. Wright, your honor, can you explain what motive this witness could have had? It's very simple, your honor. Are you sure, Nick? If I said I can't offer an explanation, then the trial's over, right? Yeah, but... Now then, please present to this court proof that the witness had a motive. My only guess would be the gang members. <laughs> They're con artists. It's oh, never gang mind gang members. members. <laughs> you know, I was in a gang once. <laughs> no. no wonder you're again the Robbie Banks. <laughs> Robbie Banks, sorry. I'm like, uh... No, not that con artist. <laughs> you're right, but... <laughs> he really wanted the baseball club. <laughs> The murderer killed the victim because of this. The defense is obviously haphazardly throwing up the evidence in desperation. It certainly seems that way. Oh, that was a big blow. Don't let all your hard work up to this point go to waste on a random guess. What was I thinking? You were thinking that he really wanted that yellow baseball glove. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mr. Wellington's motive is right here. What is this? A list? These phone numbers were pulled from the memory of the phone the defendant found. And we have determined that the people on this list aren't members of a certain group. You... you looked up all those numbers? Of course. This list of phone numbers was stored in the cell phone's memory. The names and numbers belong to people who are members of a certain con artist's group. What? what 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 Con artists?! Can you explain why these numbers were on your phone, Mr. Wellington? Th this this is an outrage! An invasion of privacy! Looking up the phone numbers on a person's phone is a worse crime than murder! Uh... You, you're one of those people, you're just like the cops who raided the bully and Maurice you have! He have disrupted the genius of the gods of- <laughs> I don't care, Mr. Wellington! All I want is for you to tell us what this list is about. Do you think you, any of you, know what it's like to be a refined man like me? No, because you're not. 
Your Honor, this is... This is unjust badgering of the witness! Objection overruled. Thank you, Judge. Mr. Wright, what is the meaning of this? Judge, you should have been more like this with Von Karma. <laughs> Why would the witness have the numbers of a group of con artists on his phone? Isn't that obvious? The witness is looking into the group, a victim of that group, a member of that group. The most the obvious choice would be member of the group. Mm -hmm. Victim of the group could be an amazing story. <laughs> where he's trying to go out like after all of these con artists that do super cool looking into the group stuff. No, it was start with the dumb one, then. That's dumb. He's investigating that group. Excuse me? What the hell are you saying, Nick? If he was just looking into the group, then he has no reason to kill anyone. I cannot accept the defense's answer. But what if Dustin Prince was uh, one of the members? That would be dumb. Yeah, I should have seen that coming. I'll ask you again, Mr. Wright. So you, your gut instinct, then, is that he's a member? I, would, I really want it to be, no, no offense to him, I really want it to be he's a victim of the group and he's like trying he's to- He's like a vigilante. <laughs> yeah, sure, but- I want to try it. That would be really funny. He was victimized by this group of con artists. Is that right? And to take his revenge, he's looking for the names and numbers of the con artists. Hold on, Nick, what are you talking about? If that's true, then he doesn't have a motive to kill Dustin Prince. What if Dustin Prince is one of them? I, I guess so. What is it? You became quiet all of a sudden. Um, I'm sorry, Your Honor. I'd like to try one more time. <sighs> all right. <laughs> one more time. <laughs> Mr. Wellington is a member of this very group. No! All of your friends' phone numbers are stored right here on this phone. If anyone were to look into these phone numbers, it would be all over for you. That is why you had to kill. No. No, this is too much! Hmm, that does make quite a bit of sense. Well, Mr. Wellington, would you care to explain? I, um, I... I got you now. I, I, that, I, that police officer. Your Honor! What is it, Mr. Payne? Your Honor, this, this is, this is unjust badgering of the witness! You said the exact same thing only a few seconds ago. B -b 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 please please let's think about the content of that phone call! Um, hello? Oh, thank you. I've been searching for my phone. Is this yours? Oh, I'm glad you called. We can meet up and I can give this back. The defendant had already promised that she would return the phone! After that, all Mr. Wellington had to do was meet Miss Bird to get his phone back. Why then would he need to kill anyone? Hmm, that is a valid point. What does the defense think about this point? I think that Dustin, or what, Dustin Prince was like, Hey, no, babe, I don't think we need to go near this <laughs> this guy. He's kind of sketchy, and she's like, okay, and then I mean, he, he gets, he gets between, a yellow streak in his He gets between the two of them, and then he's like, I need my phone. He's like, no, you don't. And then it goes back and forth, like, ridiculously. Okay. Hmm. If you think about it logically, then it makes sense. Maybe we should be thinking outside of the box. Yeah. If we think like that, let's see. We think like Emma, scientifically. <laughs> Maybe that slime ball saw something at the crime scene that made him commit murder. Your thoughts, Mr. Wright? Hmm, well, I don't think Mr. Wellington went to pick up his phone in a very friendly manner. But he was promised his phone, so why would there have been unfriendly to the defendant? I think he must have seen something that didn't agree with him when he got there. How about police? Hmm, well then, Mr. Wright... What was this something that didn't agree with the witness? So you think it's Dustin himself? Sure. <laughs> he hates baseball! <laughs> so, oh, no. I think it should just be the profile, him. Dude. <laughs> he didn't agree with himself. <laughs> no! <laughs> Not him! Mr. Payne was at the scene? <laughs> Actually, Maya. wait, if we do Maggie, what happens? The witness saw this! Mr. Wellington, is he correct? By the expression on his face, I would say that wasn't it. It looks like I was wrong. Da, 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 da. Right, right, right. Try to think before you present again. 
So he went to get his cell phone back. But when he got there, he lost control of himself. It was probably because he saw something that was really bad for him there. Police. And that really bad thing was... Dustin. It was Dustin. Is that right? Yep. I'm so happy. What Mr. Wellington saw was... The victim. The, the victim? You mean Dustin Prince? Dustin Prince had gone on his date right after his shift was over. With no time to change, he went to the park still wearing his police uniform. Oh! The girl that picked up my phone is with a policeman! He couldn't have known they were going out, so he began to worry. See, that would actually be a really smart move on her part, like, if she was alone. Oh, yeah. You pick up someone's phone, and they're like, hey, I'll meet you here. If you grab a policeman with you, that's a really smart move. But yep. she was already with him, so yeah. that's really good. He was afraid the policeman would ask a few questions before returning the phone. If I do anything suspicious, he might run a check on my phone. In his mind, it was possible they had already run a check on his phone. And he went into a panic? Is that what you're saying? That makes 100% sense. Exactly. Officer Prince was murdered simply because he was in uniform. That's ridiculous, but that makes Poor sense. Poor Dustin. Mr. Payne, do you have any comments? I, um, I'm thinking. Hmm, it seems the truth has come out at last. The witness, Mr. Wellington, you are... <laughs> insane. That's what you are. <laughs> You're insane. Impressive. Not bad for a person with a third-rate education. That explains why he's not in college, also. <laughs> he's part of a con artist group. What's that supposed to mean? The evidence! Evidence! Ugh! This guy is really creeping me out. All he's been waving around and talking about is that suspicious cell phone. Suspicious phone number this. Suspicious con group that. And look, they're all like, on that phone. He's like, <laughs> yeah. like making faces. Who's to say that phone is really mine? Where is your proof? Your evidence? You want proof that this phone is yours? <laughs> I told you earlier! That phone I've lost, I've already found it! You don't even have the slightest idea who the phone in your hand belongs to. You can be sure it isn't mine, you simpleton. What?! <laughs> it feels good to see you, Squirm. Hmm. We do seem to have a problem on our hands with this phone. Whose phone is it? Without knowing that, it's meaningless as evidence. Your Honor? This is bad. I can't let him turn the tables on me like this. Hmm. This cell phone. There has to be something I've overlooked. There's got to be. Hmm, maybe the phone stored numbers. Fingerprints. fingerprints. <laughs> what happens if we are stupid? <laughs> this phone has the names and numbers of those in the con art group in its memory. I can show them to you, Your Honor. Uh-oh, he's back to his swaggerific self. I don't believe this. What are you talking about? Uh... What we are trying to determine is who that phone belongs to. Who cares about what the phone's numbers that are stored on it? Besides, who knows? Maybe you went and added some of those numbers in yourself. The witness is quite right. I'm afraid I have to reject the defense's proposal. Grr, that jerk's back to his arrogant, annoying self again. You have fingerprints. I got it! Weeks should check for fingerprints. Fingerprints? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Wellington must have left some prints on this phone. Nick, don't you remember? When you got that from Maggie, you wiped it off! I what? You said that there was sand all over it, so... What? Wiped it? I wiped it? Pretty thoroughly, too. <laughs> That's dumb, but... I mean, what are we gonna do? It's always so much fun watching you third rate trash babble like morons amongst themselves. Ah! He's made a complete recovery! But if there's sand on it. I mean, unless the Phoenix Wright went to the beach. And that would be. <laughs> like, da -da -da -da, that would be a weird episode. How many times do I have to say this? My phone is right here, you see? Let me see it. Oh, and incidentally, you can't check the numbers stored on this phone. You can't? Why? It must have glitched because all the numbers just magically disappeared. Oh, wow. You've got to be joking. He erased all the numbers that I was going to use as evidence. I wonder. I mean, 
after he knocked us out, he probably took our cell phone. And then, magically, all of the numbers disappeared! Mr. Wellington, what's this? From the way you talk to me, it sounds like you still have some fight left in you. Where did you finally find your cell phone? <laughs> Oh, you are too much! And of course, you have no idea what I'm talking about. I, I, oh my god! Now I remember! Well, at least he remembered. Hey, Phoenix, what's up? Huh, looks like they hung up. Ah, good. I finally found it. Why is he wearing a magician's hat? Who? He was not wearing a magician's hat. Oh, he wasn't? No. So that's when... What's wrong, Mr. Attorney? Why the harsh glare in your eyes? Nick, we've worked so hard to get this far, but... If you don't do something quick, he's going to get off scot-free! I know. I know this phone has to be his. But how am I supposed to prove something like that? You say, hey... I had amnesia this whole day, that's why I was acting stupidly at the beginning, and he hit me in the head. <laughs> Mr. Wright, if you cannot prove who the owner of that cell phone is, your indictment has no basis and therefore no power. Indictment. No, it's indictment. It's indictment, but there's a C. I know, but I I N D I C T is indict, not indict. That's so weird. Maybe it's not English in nature. I don't know. It looks like you came up a penny short. Come on, we almost Where? had a full dollar, but we had 90 Where did cents. I go wrong? You didn't go wrong. He went wrong. He hit you on the head. Don't blame yourself. You're merely a third-rate lawyer. You only made one big mistake. Who are you? What are you? That's something you haven't figured out for yourself yet. What am I? Who I am? My name is Phoenix Wright. The court hereby concludes the cross-examination. No! <laughs> If that will be all, I'll have to bid you gentlemen and ladies goodbye. I have a reservation at that ultra-fancy restaurant on the upper side of town. Too bad you're not going to make it in time. Thank you for your assistance. You've had a stressful day, so please, bon appetit! What am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to just let it go at like that? I mean, I hate to get in the way of a man's restaurant reservation. But we have to raise an objection to this. Objection! <laughs> I want a steak, too. <laughs> I'll be stupid, yeah. It's no use. I can't do anymore. There's nothing left. Nothing left but to go back to my hometown. But where in the world is that? You're <laughs> not You're... well... You're you, Nick. And it's because you're you. You can't give up now! If I were me? Alright. If I were me, then what would I do? That's easy! For starters, you'd raise your voice and object! So for now, I should at least say something. Please wait, Your Honor. All right, Nick. I think I may be able to prove it. Prove it? Prove what, Mr. Wright? Everything. You, Your Honor, the cross-examination's already ended. If he's questioning the wit if he's questions the witness with any more of his badgering, you will not harass the witness. Is that clear, Mr. Wright? Don't harass me. <laughs> Did you hear that? No harassment allowed, Mr. Attorney. Please, Your Honor. Very well. But this is your last chance, Mr. Wright. We will lose all points. You may present one piece of evidence to the court. I only get one shot at this. If you cannot prove everything, it's over. For your client and for you. Do you fully understand? Yeah. Yes, Your Honor. Yes, Your Hun. <laughs> I'm sure you're well aware, Your Honor, but the cross examination period is ended! Were you e paying attention, Mr. Payne? I said that Mr. Wright could present only one more piece of evidence. Oh. Now then, Mr. Wright, this is your last chance. It all comes down to this. It's go time! Please present the one piece of evidence that will explain oh. everything. Oh, that's nowhere near as steep a punishment as I thought. I thought Do you know what it is? What it is that will prove everything? Yep. My 
try it. Is it the Eternity's Barrage? That'd be amazing. Do you want to try it? Sure. Nope. Is this your final answer? It's a bit disappointing. No, no, no! That was just a friendly gesture! <laughs> you sure know how to send a friendly gesture to me, at least. This is your absolute last chance, Mr. Wright. So no more of these friendly gestures. <laughs> Okay. Yes, Your Honor. Sorry. Um. Okay. I need to look at everything. I'm right. sorry. Attorney's badge? No. Cell phone? No. Dustin's no. autopsy report? No. Glasses? No. Crime photo one? Look. Police hat. Shirt. Things. I like how this is not lagging. Right, me too. Okay, that's it for that. Becky. I'm looking for the phone in the sand. It's not there. Oh, that would be bad. Baseball glove. No. Phoenix's business card. Oh. Yes, please do that. He hand wrote his cell phone number on the back. Why, thank you. How nice. Here, please have one of mine. <laughs> Judge's business card added to the card record. <laughs> Wait, what am I doing? This isn't that's my <laughs> judge's business card. <laughs> you actually get it as evidence too. Judge's business card. It's written in fancy script. The ink is strong and clear, but I still can't read it, so we don't get to know his name. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> Wait, was that what we were supposed to do? <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. Your Honor, there is something very important about that card, and that is the name on the card, the back of the card. Back of the card. <laughs> okay, hey. hang on. This is hilarious if we do this. The name on that card tells people who I am! It even told me that I'm Phoenix Wright! Did you not know that? Nope! <laughs> What's the meaning of this nonsense? Mr. Wright, get a hold of yourself and start behaving like a proper lawyer. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ouch. Talk about it. Tongue lashing, Nick. Ugh. I should probably try this from a different angle. <laughs> Just have a go. Oh. We had to watch that hand yeah. slap again. This card is important because of what is on the back. Hmm? You wrote your cell phone number on the back, but... But that's exactly it. Can you please call this number from your cell phone? Huh? Oh, right now? But the court is still in session. It's okay. You'll see. Okay, if you say so. Is the defense preparing something, Mr. Wright? We are going to call my cell phone now. And then the court will see everything for what it is. Wow, I can't believe uh, I, got all all I, can't believe I got all these things, things right. Why is it the Steel Samurai? Ah! What? Why is my phone? And what is with this stupid sounding ringtone? Mr. Wellington. Hmm, how strange. I can almost swear that you're holding my phone. Y your? Ah! No, 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 no! Uh, it can't! By the way, before I forget, thank you very much for the lump on my head this morning. <laughs> I don't think I need to explain any further except to say... When you went to retrieve your cell phone, you mistakenly took the wrong one. No, he didn't kill himself. Okay, good. I was like... <laughs> so that is what happened. You were knocked out by Mr. Wellington. He is a man who lives on his pride and self-image alone. And in order to hide his involvement with the con artists group, he had to become par he has become paranoid and lost all ability to make rational judgments. Hmm. Then, then Mr. Wright, the phone you're holding! It's Mr. Wellington's, naturally. Speaking of that man, how is he, Mr. Payne? Ah, he was arrested and has been taken away, Your Honor! 
very well. Now then, this court finds the defendant, Maggie Bird. No! Ah! Guilty! Good job. You look like a flight attendant doing that, but <laughs> I salute you back. That is all. This court is adjourned. And that's the first case! <laughs> Wow, that was September really 8th, 2 16 p.m., District Court, Defendant Lobby number one. It was way longer than the first case of the first game, though. Sure, but that was also like, hey, did you not know how to play the game? Let's <laughs> find out! <laughs> they, really this was, that was also this, but to a lesser extent, which is yeah. why I like this one better. I knew that the real you would shine through eventually! I'm so moved by what you've done for me, sir! Thank you so much, Mr. Wright. I also adore this victory theme. Me too. I feel really bad for Dustin. He didn't do anything to deserve this. It's probably because of me. Huh? My whole life has been nothing but a whirlwind of bad luck and failures. Your whole life? It couldn't have been that bad, could it? Since I was six months old, when I fell from the ninth floor of my apartment building... Whoa. How are you alive? How? I've been hit by all sorts of vehicles. God, how are you alive? I've been hit by vehicles. It could be like, oh, someone on their scooter hit me. Yeah, but still, you might. Uh, I don't, Watch out for the kid on the unicycle. All sorts of foods. Failed in almost every test I've ever taken. Experienced almost every kind of disaster. You made it into the police force. You you had to have done well enough in school to get there. So, good job. I never won or even tied at a game of tic tac toe. Wow, how? My life has really been nothing but a string of disasters. That is, uh, pretty bad. Up until I went to college, I was known as the goddess of misfortune. And then, at the academy, everyone called me Lady Luckless. Lady Luckless? What's worse is that my misfortune always seems to latch onto others around me. What do you mean? Well, when I see someone in trouble, I always try to help. Ah, that's right. You were talking about this earlier. It happened again recently, too, sir. There was an old lady pacing back and forth by the pedestrian crosswalk. I gave her my hand, and before I knew it, we were having dinner at my house. Oh! I'm sure that Dustin's gone because of me. That's not true! That glove didn't even have any sort of special meaning. It was just a present to say thanks for covering one of my night shifts. Oh, I see. Everything is all my fault! Dustin's death! Your head being all messed up! Uh, well, I don't think my head is that messed up yet. I'm going to find a new life for myself starting now. The next time we meet, I'm sure I'll... I'm sure I'll have found a whole ocean's worth of good luck by then, sir. Yeah, after all, the goddess of misfortune is only a name. You bet! I'm gonna make it! I promise! Next time we meet, I'll only be an unlucky person instead of a goddess! Y yeah That's the spirit! Well, Mr. Wright, Maya, I should get going. Okay, good luck to you! Thanks. You take care of yourselves, too. Well, you're pretty normal, Maggie. <sighs> what a horrible day. I've got my memory back, but things are still a little fuzzy. But you're okay, and that's what counts! You really had me worried. Come on, let's go back to the office. Hmm, I'm afraid to ask, but here goes. So, this might sound bad, but, uh, who are you? What? I thought you said you got your memory back! At that moment, everything really did come back to me. Detective Gumshoe. He's someone I've had clashes with in the past during certain cases. But he's also been a good ally during others. The judge is cool. <laughs> the judge. He's a lovable, kind old man who is easily swayed by other people's opinions. <laughs> the worst judge ever. <laughs> but in the end, he always comes up with the right verdict. This person, I haven't got a clue. He seems to know me, but maybe he's mistaking me for someone else? You know him. And this girl. Maya? You finally remember? This is Maya Faye, my assistant. That's right, I have so many unforgettable memories about her. Nope. For example... Earth to Nick, what's wrong? You keep staring at 
Starting at me! He's starting at me! That's a great typo, Capcom. <laughs> Just put that as the episode title. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, maybe. Don't tell me you missed me, or don't tell me you missed me. It's, okay, it depends on if I, Hang on, how long is this episode at this point? An hour and 21 minutes. Okay, uh, that'll probably have to be two episodes that we didn't tactfully cut out, so... I, I'll, I already have a name for one of these, but oh. I'll try to name the other one you keep starting at me. Okay. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, I suppose I have. I feel like I haven't seen you in ages. Oh? Well, I'm back now, so it's time for us to create new memories together. All right. How old she is now. All right, sounds good. Oh, hey, if we check... What's say? 18. Oh, it's been two years! No, she, no, she was 17. She was 17. Last year. It's been a year. You're an adult now, Maya! All the phone numbers on my phone were erased by Mr. Wellington. I guess I have to start over from the very beginning. Come on, Nick! Let's go to our usual burger joint! Okay, okay. Actually, it hasn't even been two months since she came back into my life. Oh, so she would have been a really old 17-year-old. And that story... That story began on one rainy afternoon, two months ago. Oh! That's episode two. It's gonna be... Episode two takes place before this first piece. Oh, it's a prequel. That makes more sense, because I was yeah. like... A brand new episode has been added! Reunion and turnabout. I was about to say, because I was like... I thought they were gonna make more of a big deal about Maya coming back. I mean, that was a really good way for her to come back, I say. Especially if you've never played the game, and then you're... Oh, that's a good... That's a good picture, I guess. <laughs> it doesn't have, like, the doesn't, poster anymore? It doesn't look as good. Like, yeah, I, I know. <laughs> because it's not actually on the DS, it, it's weird like that. Right. Okay. Yeah, episode two, Reunion and Turnabout. This is this is a case that a lot of people adore, and I really don't want to sway your opinion on the case okay. before we start. Well... When I first played this game, I did not like this case at all. I'm sure. But... We are very different people, so maybe I'll love it. You're gonna love it, because there are so many female characters for you to voice. Woo! So, like, oh, yeah! They're... I bet I can know one of them, then. I bet I know at least one. Is it that little girl? Is it the little girl? I can... We can even confirm or deny because yeah, it's our child <laughs> in this case. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but that, that'll be uh, an interesting one, and that's also, in my, in my opinion, a very dark one. But... Oh. Okay. <sighs> Yeah. I wonder in, if I know what the case is then. Oh, I hope not. I hope not. Oh, I hope not, because there's some really good twists in that case. I don't think I know any. It, it also twists. adds some. It it adds a very interesting and awesome new game mechanic. Oh, cool. So I don't want to spoil that, but look forward to that next time on Phoenix Wright Justice for All, everybody. I'm suddenly surfer dude. Woo! Tune in next time Surf's for that, up, bro. <laughs> Surf's up, bro. <laughs> <And> have, <laughs> have a great day and God bless. Thank you.